Chambers and in this video what I'm going to do is show you how I actually got these uh, failed logins uh, information and so this is continuing on in protecting your WordPress websites now the first video we did was show you how to change the username from admin to something different as you can see, most of the, the, these first two attacks that I had coming onto my website, and this was one website, they used admin. I never saw an, an, another this one. What happens, as you can see, it says 40 failed login attempts, four logouts from IP and the IP uh, address the, the hackers use. Uh, have magic on finding uh, IPs that nobody can ever find. You can see that they use admin and this IP address was locked out for 24 hours. That was the only one I got from that one. Now, let me show you. This is my website, uh, FrontierGold.com, and you can see here's that same thing, 40 failed at attempts. The IP, again, a different IP address. But, and it says last user attempted was admin and it was blocked for 24 hours. Now this was on 5.5. Five. Two days later they came along and attempted the same exact thing which was only they used a, a user was from the domain name. And so that's probably a pretty good guess. Uh, again there are 40 attempts they were logged out. Uh, Two days later, because remember now is these logouts are 24 hours each, so it's a whole day afterwards. Two days later, they came back and tried Bob Frontier Gold as the username. So you can see that they're using, uh, they're they're looking at what n people normally do. The, the people put things together. I think we all do uh, to make it as easy as possible. So this is these were the attempts. Um, I'll show you how we can then take care of that. Let's just go to here. We are back in that blog profits .com. We're in the dashboard, and in this case, we're we're in the plugins. Now, what we want to do is add a plugin. Let me just show you this one. Click on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, for the search term limit login attempts and hit the search plugins. And this will bring in the limit login attempts. So, what we want to do, and you can see this has got five stars on it. So, what we want to do is install that. We click on this install, and um, of course, the there's the double questions. Here we do the activate the plugin. Now, once the plugin is activated, now let's just scroll down here, and here you can see it's right here. What we want to do is we want to go to that uh, where that is, and and we have to go to settings and go down here to limit login attempt, and just click on that. Now you. This is the dashboard for the uh, plugin itself. And you can see it, it already is pre programmed to uh, a number of things. It says allow retries four, and at the end of those four, if they don't get the right answer, then it will log out for 20 minutes. Now you can ch change this. Well, let's say uh, my earlier ones I had put in 10 allows, uh, allowed. Uh, retries. One of the reasons for that was uh, I could be logged out for 24 hours if I wasn't careful. So I made that a 10 and, and be logged out for 20 uh, minutes. The After four logouts, and that, that would allow someone to, to put in 40 different inputs in uh, approximately a little over an hour's time, then they're going to be logged out here for 24 hours and that's what I had on that. The uh, only thing that I've, I usually do is increase that to 10 and then I like to know that someone's attacking me so I go down here to email to admin for 
uh, after those 10 logouts. In other words, I'm not, I don't want to be emailed every time someone's logged out or, or uh, locked out, but I do want to know when they've gone into this 24 hours then. And I can then click change options and that will have that information. Now, here's an example. Let me just go back to my, uh, this one here. Now, this was someone that was very determined to get into my website. Here you can see they attack for admin. Uh, two days later, they attack for Frontier Gold. And two days later, they attack for Bob Frontier Gold. Now, you notice that when I was showing you this one here, they tried it once. And there's so many that they can attack for the admin that it's, you know, sense in trying to guess something. So this person here is is being pretty determined and so what I did on this one is instead of them be, being locked out for 24 hours they're locked out for 240 hours so they aren't going to be coming back for a while and again uh, this information will show up because I have the I have that email when they do come back if they do come back this is like I say it's it's rather strange that they would keep on trying to guess because most of the time that uh, if you don't use admin and you lock them out they know that you're smart enough that you're start you're putting protection into your system and so you're the low-hanging fruit which is everybody else that is using just a simple admin and probably a simple password you know like a password of one two three four or something like that so using the previous one which was a pretty previous video which was showing you how to put use the admin rename or extended that one plus using the limited login attempts setting will protect your your web uh, wordpress website pretty good it's it's not perfect nothing is perfect in this life but the thing that i i found was that when i got someone like this that you saw here where they, they're truly attacking my website on purpose what i did then is make it much more difficult by increasing the amount of time their attacks and so uh, again uh, trying to go to this uh, U, uh, IP is is hopeless because uh, they have some magical way, way of uh, keep being a real number that you could track back so any rate those those give you the the really my three ways which was changing the username changing the uh, or adding the limit login attempts and mon and monitoring that uh, how many attacks were uh, coming through by getting an email and then the third thing was when I got someone who as this person was very determined then what I decided was to increase that logout so that they have a long time before I see them again